Morning guys. Welcome back to another Jungle's Travels. So, daily vlog number 19. So as you saw last night, I parked up here at Waddlesford Lock, which is on the Air and Calder Navigation. Um, as you said, it's a big wide berth lock. Apparently it was built to connect Leeds to the Humber and the North Sea. And yeah, on a Tuesday and Thursday, you can see some massive barges coming through. So, a good place to stop. And it seems popular for the walkers. Best side. Is this your best side, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody seems nice and cheery. Remember how I said last night, I think that guy scratched the wall. If you uh, check out just a little corner of his little Peugeot 106 there. He did. He caught the wall. Poor chap. If only he knew somebody who repaired cars. Anyway, we'll crack on and see where we end up. That way. Morning. Leeds is about five miles that way. Morning. So, I was going to ride, but I think I'll walk to the water mill. Because it looks like a nice day, ish. And it'd be a nice walk. So, I can see swans on the river over there. I think the swans. Apparently there's a lot of wildlife you can see. A lot of nice barges as well, so I'll grab my coat, grab my jacket, we'll head in that direction and see where we end up. It's not real. <sighs> right, I'm set. Got my coffee. Incidentally, Gaz's Garden. Now, it says 1986-2002. That's a couple of people nobody seems to know. I assumed, being 16, it was a dog or something. Maybe a lock keeper's dog. No, I think it's a child, because it says special brother on it. A little Olaf. So I'm guessing some kid possibly might have drowned in the canal. They are dangerous, especially this. Being a wide berth, really, really deep. Not like in that standard canals where they're about, I think about eight foot deep. This one being wide berth, it's for the uh, the big the big boys. So you've got to be careful with them. Anyway, safety warning over. Let's crack on and see what we can see. There's Patchy Boy. Right. Let's see where we end up. So like I say, Leeds is five miles in that direction, but we're going to the mill. I think it's in that direction anyway. I'm just guessing. Little duckies. So apparently there is actually um, a sculpture trail along here, carved by one of the um, canal barge people, somebody who lives on here. And oh, I can smell burning wood again, somebody's got a wood fire going. So yeah, there's a sculpture trail, and if you're really careful, you can spot the ruffalo. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can find the ruffalo. Anyway, let's crack on. Incidentally, you can buy bird seed off one of the uh, barges, which I'm guessing is probably that one over there with all the little fancy bits on. Nice. Beautiful. Anyway, yeah, so there's the treasure trove. And it's got a shop on it. So you can pop to see the shop. Look at these. These are proper big barges, these, aren't they? What's that? Oh, a tea boat. So I think that young lady there with the dreadlocks, pretty cool. Looks like she uh, sells tea. Shanty tea boat. So once we've done our walk, heading back from the mill, I think I'll pop in and have a shanty tea before we uh, decide where to go next. Cool. My dad would have loved that. A little big pig flower pot on Scobber, Scobber Lodger. Nice and easy. I bet they are taking it nice and easy on there as well, aren't they? Eclipse. You've got to love some of the names that they come up with, haven't you? I actually really like them, quite creative some of them. And they're just like really weird as well. It's good though, but nice barges.
trefoil. It is just a simpler existence, isn't it? Just living on a barge, chilling out. I could quite happily do that. When the kids have all grown up and flown the nest, who knows? Jungle's travels might move onto the water. Incidentally, I said my dad would like that one because he used to be a pig farmer. Long, 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 long time ago. Yes, anyway, let's uh, crack on. See, swans, beautiful. And there's the gruffalo. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful, that is. Gorgeous. Morning. Morning. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm guessing that's the nature trail down there. Pardon? I'm guessing that's the nature trail down there. Yeah. Bit of a Halloween thing going on there. Are you the one who's carved them all? Pardon? Did you carve them all? This chap has. Nice. Yeah. Let's go and have a look at the nature trail. There's lots of ducks in there. It wasn't hard to spot the ruffle, was it? Let's have a look around here. I'm guessing, looking at the birds, this is the same person who carved the bird at the start of the path. Sometimes you've got to go off the beaten path, haven't you? Incidentally, they are long-term moorings on here. <clears throat> There's Rudolph. So there's actually a little bird hive here that you can... Uh... <laughs> Spot the birds. Man. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> and we've got the corn here for you. little kiddies. Oh, I hope he's all right. Right. Let's crack on and see what else we can see along this lovely little path. Oh, that's beautiful, that is. So, like I said, there's a the chap who's uh, done it. Gorgeous. Right, let's crack on. Isn't it nice how they all have little gardens? Lovely, isn't it? What a great place to have a boat. Long term mooring. Nice, that. Morning. Slow children and animals. Some fast children and animals as well. Anyway, let's jog on and see where we end up. Jog on, don't like that word. Let's crack on. That's better. Let's crack on and see where we end up.
I have noticed there's a lot of people around here on them e-bikes. Where is the call in these parts? e bar gun bikes. I don't know if that's intentional or not. They've been there quite a while, but some tea bag has uh, dumped a load of tyres there. Why? Respect nature. Come on, guys. I don't know. Anyway, keep the countryside clean. It's not that hard, is it? There's plenty of bins around. And there's plenty of places that'll take your tyres. They don't dump them. Have some respect for where you live. Any hopes. Like I said, a lot of cyclists on the e-bikes, or the e-bike gun bikes. They're everywhere. Yeah. It's the point where they've actually put signs. Yeah. Hmm. So that guy who just passed me looked like he had his little kid sat on the crossbar of his mountain bike with no seat. Hmm. Bit dangerous. Anyway, let's just crack on. There's the swans. Beautiful, isn't it? And they're flying towards the fish pond lock. Fish pond lock is the next big lock after Woodlesford. Awesome. Right, let's go have a look at a fish pond lock. Same kind of lock as you can see by the uh, the lock house. Anyway, let's check it out. One solitary barge, all on his own. In a windmill that's not working in the distance. Now this looks like a lock keeper's house. So I'm wondering if the chap who lives here works both locks, both fish pond and Woodlesford. Because it would make sense, wouldn't it, to radio through these days. So there's a boat coming through. All he has to do is hop on a mountain bike and a mile down the road. Hmm. It's like somebody's doing a bit of body work there. Yeah. <clears throat> Must be quite a nice job that actually. Working on the, not the body work, working on the uh, locks. Easy. Nice and easy. And you get a free house thrown in with it. Judging by the cars, it don't pay too bad either. So here's another one. This one actually looks like it was predating that one. To me, anyway. Just looking at the stone cappings on it and everything. I'm guessing they built that one because this one couldn't handle the volume. Could be wrong. Pretty awesome, though, isn't it? 
And there's the swans down there, just chilling. It's actually a beautiful little place, this. Look at that. Practicing uh, rowing. Maybe for a rowing team, perhaps. Or just a young couple with too much time on their hands. Who knows? Pull! 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 Faster! Hmm. Awesome. <laughs> A bit camera shy. She had a nice little smile when she saw the camera. But yeah, why wouldn't you? I'd actually love to get a canoe and just uh, mosey along. Maybe, you never know. It's on my shopping list. Awesome. There's another couple of rowers there. Well, I think it's fair to say if they're in a race, they've lost. Them girls have just trounced them. Faster. Faster. Put your back into it. We've been all Yorkshire. Well, I'm in Yorkshire. Awesome. Ooh. Pretty cool. Why not? Enjoy the river. Canal. Whatever. Just don't fall in, it's very deep. There's the winners. It takes a lot of stamina to do that, doesn't it? Anyway, if you just noticed there, they're passing under an old cast iron bridge. I'm lying to you, they're not, it's not cast iron, it's concrete. From down there, it looked cast down. I thought it was an old railway bridge. It may well be. Or it may not be. I don't know. But, it looks like people are walking across it. See, it looks like it was an old railway bridge. But we'll go up and have a look in a minute, but I've just noticed something else. Let's check this out, see where this is. So this is the River Air. As you saw before. And across there, you've got a big old country park and there's a big lake in the middle of it over there. So if you come here and you want to like a nice day out, yeah, if you come here and you want a good day out, it seems like this is the place to come. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah, nice big country park over there. I'm not going to go into it because I want to see what's along this way. But maybe on the way back, who knows? We'll see what's over there. Right now, let's head up there. Ah, see, there's the men's team. So you see the girls' team? Two girls, one boat. Where's the boys? Oh, yeah. It takes ten boys to row one boat, doesn't it? They can't do it two to a boat, can they? No, oh, no, no. No, I'm joking. This is obviously some kind of... Um, maybe some local university team, maybe. Let's go and get the square together, so the square together. As you pass over the knees, begin the roll. Be easy to say that when you're on a powerboat. Callum, over this way. Yes, Callum, do as you're told. Yeah, nice and straight. That's it. Come on, Tarquin, put you back into it. Good going, Cedric. Right, let's crack on. So, I think I was right. This is an old railroad. Seems to be very, very popular with rowers, this river. Probably because of the width of it and everything. And the fact there's very little traffic on it. This is a great vantage point though. Yeah, one of my plans is to buy an inflatable canoe so I can fold it up and chuck it in the back of the van. Should go just above where the mountain bike is. 
and then that way I can uh, have a crack at doing stuff like well not to that extent but have a crack at a uh, bit of canoeing something I've always fancied beautiful though isn't it and all this is just five miles from Leeds City Centre Apparently it's quite popular with people in Leeds to come here and just chill. As you can see, there's shed loads of people on mountain bikes and families out running and enjoying the park. And why not? Why not? Yeah. Great little spot. Look at him go. Put it the backs into it. Proper job. He never made the team. That's why he gets the power boat. Fair play to him though. I could not do something like that. I don't have the stamina. I do, however. Reckon my oldest son would probably do something like that. I can imagine when he goes to university because he wants to. If he came home and said, Dad, I've joined the rowing team, it wouldn't surprise me because he's a bit of athletic and he likes to challenge himself and push himself and try new things. Fair play to him. Anyhow, let's uh, head back in that direction. Now, I don't just admire industrial engineering from the Victorian time. Sometimes after I admire modern engineering. Who can tell me what this is? Ten points if you can tell me. Instead, we'll look at all the graffiti. Keep seeing these little mosaics popping up. Free Assange. I'm going to stick my own graffiti on there. What do you reckon? Should we pop a sticker on? Free Assange. There we go. Let's put some artistic graffiti on there for a change. So yeah, 10 points if you can tell me what this is supporting. And 100 points if you can tell me how the hell Rose got a name up there. What do they do? Graffiti artists come on the ladders in the middle of the night now. Mental. Absolutely mental. The only way I can see it is they've crawled along the girder from there. That takes some balls to do that, even if the graffiti is crap. You've got to admit, one false slip and Rose 91 would have been the year she died. Anyhow, tell me what it supports, I'll show you now. Supporting this, the M1 which runs right over Skelton Park which is where we're walking along massive isn't it look at the bridge there you see down there a little mosaic tile saying look out I've noticed a few of these mosaic tiles dotted about everywhere oh there you go beautiful little waterfall so this is the river air as I said we're not far from the mill now um, there's the canal towpath, just came round it, got to about there, slipped on my arse, went all the way down. Dangers of being a vlogger. All to show you, a waterfall. Mad, isn't it? Actually, I think I can see fish dropping down it, which is really weird. Pretty certain I just saw fish. 
over there falling out. Unsurprising. Anyway, the river air. Beautiful. Let's crack on. Incidentally, apologies for the camera being a bit shaky. I'm having to use my phone because my GoPro's run out of battery. It's gone flat again. And I thought I'd charge a spare battery up and I haven't because I'm a freaking idiot. So hopefully when we get to the mill, there might be a cafe there or somewhere I can plug my phone in and plug my charger in. Fingers crossed. Right. Let's try and get back up there without breaking my neck. There's a nice little barge. Well, I'll say a little, it's quite big actually. Looks like it would have been an industrial barge at one time. And somebody's converted it to a house. Pretty cool. You want a great spot to have it as well. So that shows you how wide the industrial barges were, doesn't it? Compared to your standard narrow barge. Like double width really, aren't they? Which is what must go through the locks down there. Something similar to this. Will it be a bit bigger though, by the sound of it? Across there, it looks like there's a big shipping yard. Full of shipping containers. Beautiful. Let's crack on. So, as you see, it looks like I have to cross the bridge here. There's a car, uh, chap carrying his kid on the back of a bike up the steps. So, if you're a cyclist, you can't go any further than this point. Bit of a junction there. So, I'll wait till these lot have carried the bikes up, and the two in the higher visors have carried the bikes down. And then I think we actually cross to the right, and I should be able to get the tow path, which will take me over to the mill. Fingers crossed. Hmm. We shall see. Just wait for these two. I think that chap's going to come down as well, actually. You think they've actually built a ramp or something, don't you? The amount of cyclists that are on here, because this path does look as though it's been purposely built for cyclists. Looking at the uh, texture of it, it's quite soft. Yeah. Yes, I have remembered my boots this time as well. <sighs> we'll get there in a minute. Right, I'll wait till these have gone and then I'll cross up. So, just across there, you can see the beautiful Thwaites Water Mill. Gorgeous, isn't it? Now all we need to do is figure out how to get across to it. And also, hopefully it'll be open. Otherwise it's been a long walk for nothing. Well, not for nothing, but you know what I mean. Let's um, head across there and see what we can see. And there's the uh, entry sign. <laughs> I think the admission price is about £4.50. It was an interesting thing on that sign that the car park's locked from 4.30 because this is where I was actually intending parking if I couldn't park where I did. So it's good job I read that. Otherwise I'd have been locked in, wouldn't I? Anyway. Nice little uh, stone towers over there in a Flintstone bridge. Let's head to the uh, centre and see what we can see. Right guys, I'm going to leave you here, leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger, because I think the mill deserves a vlog all on its own, because it looks pretty impressive. So if you want to see what the mill's like, tune in tomorrow. I know, I don't usually do this to you, but once in a while doesn't hurt, does it? So, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Incidentally, it is a great little trail this. Just get into the mill. I'm glad I actually walked it and not cycled. Right, see you tomorrow inside the mill.